makes me like flawless because I'm sick of looking at how terrible they look. <gasps> I just broke my sun like a shit. <sighs> right here to help enhance them because you know high cheeks is in. I don't obsess, in love with, would marry. You feel me? Hey guys, hey guys, it's Kaylin. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming another fantabulous video for you all. I decided to do the power of makeup video. It's not a tag video or anything, it's just a video that I was inspired to do because of Nikki Tutorials because she was the first person to ever do this video and this video literally was like, it hit worldwide. Everyone was talking about it. If you don't know what it is, first of all, go check out her video it's super it's just very inspiring and um, it's a video where you're doing one side of your make one side of your face with makeup and the other side we just see how you look like without makeup like right now I have no makeup but you can see what I would do and what I use to transform not transform like to another face but like enhance certain features cover up like you know redness stuff like that but she created this video just because girls nowadays ha are ashamed to do their makeup are scared because other people are out there saying that if you're you're you only do your makeup because you're insecure and you want to cover up your face or whatever the case may be it's not necessarily <sighs> I don't know what I'm trying to say but <laughs> People are just ashamed to do their makeup because they feel that other people are just going to bash them because they love doing their makeup every day because, you know, the term, go put on your face or, oh, you're so fake, you're covering up your face or what guys would say is you're giving us false advertisement, stupid stuff like that. And it makes girls who love doing their makeup not want to do it and feel shame and feel almost like they're doing something wrong when they're applying their makeup. So I decided to do this video today. I, let's go ahead and get started into the tutorial. So I'm going to do this side of my face with makeup and then this side of the face without makeup. So, so I'm going to start out with a primer. I picked a um, primer that's going to help with a certain insecurity I guess of mine or something I don't necessarily like on my face which are pores I have pores a lot like on my nose they're not like super noticeable but if someone was like in my face you're gonna see those bad boys I have them like on my nose and then I have like um you know some really large ones right here <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with this Maybelline baby skin pore eraser primer and I'm going to I only apply this on to spots where my pores are visible which go in with foundation. I don't use foundation to necessarily like cover up my face, but to cover up spots I don't like, whether that be acne, redness, sunspots, stuff like that. So I always go into a light to medium coverage foundation. So um, this is one that I like and it's the only one that matches my skin at the moment, but um, I actually do look really like this. So I'm not complaining. This is the CoverGirl Ultra Smooth Foundation in 860. I always put a little bit on the back of my hand and I dot it on my face because this way I can really focus the foundation on certain areas that I want to cover up, which is mainly like down here where there's hormonal breakouts I have and then somewhat onto my cheeks where there's sunspots or some redness. can see the difference between my foundation side and then my normal side. Foundation side looks a lot more smoother, a lot more dewy. I actually really see a difference, so 
Now I'm going to go in with concealer. Um, I don't necessarily use concealer to help with extra coverage. I will. I use concealer mainly for the under eyes because I love bright under eyes. I'm going to take this concealer. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in creamy beige. Underneath my eyes, the bridge of my nose, and then right here in between my forehead. the foundation because it doesn't so one it won't crease and two it won't be doing funky things underneath the eyes or whatever I'm going to go in with this BH contour and palette I'm gonna take these two shades I'm gonna mainly take this shade right here and then dab my brush into this shade for that extra highlighted look to my brows. I always do my brows around this time because in probably my previous tutorials my brows were super bold and out there. They matched my hair color. But um, I do fill them in with a powder and not a gel and it's a lot lighter. So this is the e.l.f. eyebrow powder eyebrow kit in the color dark. As you see I normally would use this shade right here but today, well since I got my hair lighter I've been using this shade over here because into place and then fill out more areas where necessarily the powder didn't get. I'm going to go in with this NYX Tinted Brow Mascara in the color Espresso. I'm called on the face and I'm going to go into my eyes. I'm going to be doing like an everyday eye. But to, because I had concealer and everything on my eye, I'm just going to set it. Um, a lot, a little bit more with that same powder right here in the BH palette. I'm going to go in with just a nice warm transition shade. You probably seen me use this in a couple other of my videos because I've been obsessed with this. I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. blush palette. I'm going to take up this nice warm or burnt orange color and I'm just going to pop this above the crease and a little into the crease. So going to go back into the BH Contour and Palette today. This palette is getting a lot of action. I'm going to go in with this deep contour shade, and this is going to go into the crease. I'm going to go in with this NYX Single Eyeshadow, and I have a headache, and this is just going to go all over the lid. You can't see me, but I'm going to go in with liner. This is the NYC Hold Definition Felt Tip Liquid Liner. I'm just going to line the lids, and I'm sorry if you can't see this because sometimes I get like really close to my mirror, and I don't realize that it's not in the camera focus. So, yeah. Mascara. Um, I'm going to go in with this NYC Instant Lash Mascara and coat my. I'm going to coat my upper lashes. I'm going to go in with bronzer. It's going to help even out the face. My the inner part of my face is all lightened with concealer, so it's all highlighted and everything. And the outer part of my face, I'm going to use bronzer to create the shadows and the definition in my face. It's going to enhance any bone structure that I want it to enhance and then help define certain areas. So for bronzer, I'm going to take the NYC Smooth Sunny Smooth Skin Bronzer in the color Sunny.
I want my eyes to look more wide awakened and just bigger. I'm going to go in with a nude liner. This is the NYX Wonder Pencil Liner in the color light. and it's cool. I'm going to apply this on my waterline and it's going to help just open up my eyes a lot more. Now for the lower lash line for the eyeshadow there, I'm going to go back into the e.l.f. blush palette and then pick up that same burnt orangey shade and then pop this on the lower lash line. And then going back into the BH contour palette, I'm going to pick up that same shade that I used into the crease, which is this nice deep brown shade and I'm going to smoke that out also on the lower lash line. I'm going to go back in with my NYC mascara and coat a little bit. Out my cheekbones going back into the BH contour and blush palette I'm gonna pick up this nice big bowl shade right here go back in to blush because I need some color on my cheeks can you just can you just tell how lifted my cheeks look go ahead and use this bad boy right here it's more of a pinky but more of a purple undertone so it's a nice mauve shade so it's gonna be give me that nice flush color that I enjoy I'm gonna blend this out a little bit more because I like a nice highlighted look on my cheekbones and I've been really loving it on the tip of my nose. I'm going to go in with a nice highlight shade. I'm taking this NARS highlighter in Albatross and popping this up here above the cheekbones and then on the tip of my nose and whatever's left. For the sake of this video and I haven't done a nice red lip, I'm going to go ahead and with a nice red lip, I'm going to go use my Milani lipstick in Cherry Cray for that nice Cherry Cray red lip. This is the completion of the look that I'm doing today. I hope you and please subscribe to my channel so you do not miss out on any future videos that I have. If you have any comments or just any, any suggestions, please go ahead and leave them below. I know I'm looking really crazy. Like, yeah. So, <laughs> this was a very fun and inspiring video to do. I'm glad I did it, even though I was nervous that I was like, you know, someone might look at this and be like, she can go from 10 to 10 plus 1. I'm glad I did this video. I'm glad I took the chance and did it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, everyone.